Hello everyone, welcome back to Charm Intuition Tarot and welcome if you're new, my name is Liz. So today's reading we are looking at messages from your angels, from your guides, what they want you to know. I've been noticing lots of angel images a lot lately, like in magazines or just when I'm out shopping, I've been seeing lots of pictures of angels, just noticing them more than usual. Uh, so that's what inspired today's reading. We have three groups to choose from, so I'll show you each of the groups and that'll allow you to pick which angel you feel drawn to and then we'll catch up a little bit um, after this. So let me show you. So for group one, we have this stained glass angel and this was a handmade gift. Group two, we have this angel brooch and this sits in my jewelry box. I've had this for a couple years now. This is actually, this one's interesting because for a long time I was like, oh yeah, this was my grandma's because I had received some of my grandma's jewelry. But then I remembered this was actually in a hall of charms that I had. It was like a big jewelry hall and this was one of the items that came in it. So yeah, this is just, I always just have it around. I think it reminds me of my grandma. Um, but yeah, that's an interesting piece. And then this one I actually just picked up recently. And this is like a little angel statue. So feel free to choose more than one. Of course, you can watch all three groups if you're feeling called to more than one angel. There was a collective theme I did notice throughout all groups. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. Each group was very different. Uh, the overall main message was different, but there was one theme I'm noticing uh, that a lot of people must be experiencing. Uh, so once you get into the reading, you'll, you'll find out more about that. But yeah, I think that's it. I'll give you a close up. We'll take a nice deep breath. As always, have fun with my readings. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Uh, if you're listening to this and if it's not resonating with your situation, that's okay. I hope that there is a message for you today though. Oh yeah, there's one thing I wanted to talk about too. Uh, actually two things really quick. Uh, my Instagram, I never use my Instagram. It's linked down below. I only have one account. Be careful of scam accounts. But on that note, uh, I have somebody helping me take care of my Instagram uh, now. And today she's like, Liz, we have to clean up this Instagram. Like the entire thing was just me making posts about scammers <laughs> on Instagram. Um, you know, that's a common problem in the tarot community on YouTube and Instagram in general um, was, you know, people pretending to be me basically offering personal reading. So that's still a thing, but she did help me sort of clean up my Instagram because every post was just basically that. I didn't, I haven't really used Instagram. I think I posted one thing this year. So anyways, you might see some more posts there. Uh, so feel free to follow down below. And then also Patreon. Patreon is something I do use quite frequently. I post every single week there. Uh, it's a little bit of behind the scenes look into my life and we post weekly readings. Uh, every Monday usually. So that is what's going on there. That'll be linked below. And I think that is it. So let me know what you think of today's reading. I really hope that you enjoy this one. And we will start with group number Hello, one. Group one, if you chose the first angel, then this is your messages from your angels, your guides, what they want you to know, what they've been trying to tell you. Very excited to see what comes up. I'm in a very relaxed mood today. So we're just going to take our time. I even brought out um, a book for this particular deck so we can read if we want to. I'm just gonna shuffle out all of your cards and then we'll take a look and see what comes up. So I'm just gonna one moment. I've been very drawn to angel images recently. I've just been noticing angels more. Um, even I was at the uh, thrift store and I was noticing like, all of the different angels that they had in the decor section. So let's see what comes up here. I think that's good to start. We'll start there and we'll see what we have. We can always pull some more cards too. So you have the Helper of Thought, the Four of Abundance, and Organization, which is the Emperor. So this is the one deck I have that has angels on it. So I chose that one. Okay, you've got Be Real, Quest, and Complacency. Okay. Okay. Okay, your message from your angels. 
So I feel as though there's something that's been happening recently that you've been sort of like wanting to change, but it feels, it kind of feels to me like you're sort of like kind of waiting for it to change on its own, or you've been sort of um, maybe sort of even putting up with something or dealing with something or leaving something um, that you know you've been wanting to change, you know you've been wanting to do this or make this change or uh, make this decision, whatever this is for you, but there's sort of a feeling of like, okay, not now, maybe later. So there's, this kind of feels like a little bit of almost like a bit of reality check um, messages from your angels, sort of wanting for you to be honest with yourself in regards to something. Um, that you may be like there's a bit of like resistance to change coming through uh, let's read complacency and see what that says it's kind of like one of those things where it's like oh, i can't change this or i can't i can't do anything to help myself with this when there is still like there's some there's something um you may not have like i'm getting like there's something you haven't admitted to yourself let's see this is a warning not to give up. Beware of coasting along in a situation that is not really what you want. You will never be fulfilled by the unmet dreams of others. How can I redefine my dreams? How can I stop procrastinating? So that was the feeling I was getting is there's a bit of like procrastination happening. Um, so I feel like the cards, you know what's so interesting is I feel like your angels have sort of been noticing you coming to this conclusion recently and uh, are sort of trying to give you this gentle push to get yourself... Uh, because even, even helper of thought, like it, it almost kind of feels like you've already had these kind of, uh, you've acknowledged this, you've acknowledged that, okay, I know this needs to change. I know the steps that I, that I should probably be taking. Um, but I, I just, I can do it later or I'll do it when the time is better. or I'll do it when I have more time or I'll do it when this, you know, thing happens. So what I'm getting here is to sort of, um, embrace change and I, I do feel like for you, the things that you're wanting to do are going to require you to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. So I feel like that's another factor that might be making it uh, a little difficult to get going. But I feel like there's been sort of a lot of realizations recently. And I do feel like and with full moon in Aquarius, like I'm getting, of course, like the message of authenticity with this. Be real, be yourself. But I'm getting like be real, be truthful with yourself uh, first. So like there's something about like, okay. I know I've, I've needed to do this, or I know I've been wanting to do this, uh, but I've been kind of waiting for everything to line up and be perfect. I've done that a lot where I'm like, oh, I'll wait for the timing to be right, or one day, you know, when things are this way, I can start this, but it, it never, like, it never really happens that way. Um, you know, it's not like things really ever feel perfectly lined up in, in order to do something or start something or get something going. So that's just one thing. Um, okay, so quest, it says, is it time to take a risk? Where in my life do I need to walk my talk? Okay, so this is an interesting combination here with be real and quest. So there's something you're sort of like saying, oh, I'm going to do this. I want to do this. This, I, you know, <laughs> this is my plan, but it's, so, it's sort of saying like, okay, now's the time. Like, let's get going with this. Let's get, let's get started. Because the, the four of abundance can be, this is the four of pentacles. This can be sort of resistant, um, it's a very sturdy, stable energy, but it can sometimes be like, okay, but things are sort of comfy where they are, right? Uh, so this is sort of like embracing, embracing this quest that you want to go on and not putting it off until later. So being open to wisdom, imagined dangers, commitment to your path. Okay, so one of the things that could sort of be you know, preventing you from getting this thing started. Because I feel like if you chose group one, like there's something you've been wanting to do to start or do for yourself or a change you've been wanting to make. And there's sort of a feeling of like, you know, I don't know, like what if it doesn't work out? You know, that kind of thing. Cause the, just like the card mentioned, like sometimes we can imagine these dangers and sometimes, you know, there's risks in everything that we do. It seems to me like by standing still, there's a bit of a risk uh, involved with like not making a change in this case. Uh, so let's... Let's take a look here because you've got the Emperor card. So this really is a card of taking charge. It says your plans are on target and everything will flow more smoothly if you add a little organization and discipline to your methods. The key to success is to allow your creativity to be gently guided by logic. Be open to asking for help from someone very intellectual or seek out a mentor. Okay, so another thing your angels are saying is there could be someone that could sort of help you even with this quest card. It seems like, you know, there could be someone that could offer some guidance 
or some different options to you. So that might be something to consider. Even with helper of thought, like I do feel like there's a wisdom available to you. You know, if you'll allow yourself to ask, like if, you're, if you'll allow yourself to seek out this information, your life is about to start moving very fast. Events that seem to be on hold suddenly require all your attention. There's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Yeah, I think with complacency, helper of thought, there's a feeling of like, okay, later, later. I'll get this started later. I'll seek help with this later. I'll ask this question later. But your angels are saying like, now's the time. Like, get organized. You've got, you seem to have a really great idea or you've got a really great plan or target goal. Uh, but there's just sort of that feeling of like, okay, later, um, you know, I, I don't want to start it quite yet, or I, I don't have this information that I need. So your angels are saying like, okay, if that's the case, go get that information. Like, what is that piece of information that you need? Um, so there's no time to sit and ponder. You've got to get moving. Review the details as best as you can. And it goes on to say, you know, will meet or are somebody with very quick mind who instantly grasps what to do. This person is both confident and courageous. So I'm definitely getting something about like somebody who could help you with a current situation. Uh, but it's also acknowledging that you are actually better at adapting to things then maybe you give yourself credit for it because the card mentioned like, okay, there's these imagined dangers. Like what if this happens or what if this doesn't work out or what if it doesn't happen the way I imagined? So give yourself some credit for your ability to like problem solve and manage things and work under pressure and deal with things. Cause there's sort of a feeling of like, I want to start this quest. I want to do this, but you know, do I have what it takes? You know, I, I'd rather, let's just wait and see. Let's just wait and see. But there's definitely a feeling within your reading from your angels of like, take the wheel here, take the reins, get this started, get the information you need. Definitely a message of organization. So there could be uh, a message for you to, to seek out some information or, or get some education about something. Uh, so there may be something you need to learn or a piece of information that's missing that might help you feel more confident as well. Uh, it's time to reflect upon your relationship with money. Are you spending it too freely or are you holding on to it too tightly? This can also relate to how you give of yourself to others. Is your heart open or are you holding back? Your hard work and wise investments will bring great success. Okay, so I'm getting a few different things from this. We'll start from the beginning. So uh, be real <laughs> with the four of abundance. You may be having to be honest with yourself about like how you've been spending. And the thing with the four of abundance is it can be all or nothing. I know how this is because sometimes I'll be like, okay, I'm going to be, I'm not spending any money on anything fun. You know, I need to save for this or I need to pay this off. And then it's like so extreme. And then on the other hand, sometimes I'm like not even paying attention to like what I'm spending or like, um, you know, where it's going. So that is something to pay attention to possibly for you. You may be being very real with yourself in regards to spending, uh, your relationship with spending, uh, you know, that kind of thing. So that's coming, you know, that's coming up for sure. Uh, so you'll have to decide, you know, what end are you on right now? Is there a balance in between? Now, the other thing that jumped out to me here, are you holding back? Okay. So all of these cards, all three of these top cards here, and even this quest card, it's sort of a feeling of, of the information you need is available. This thing that you need, this last piece of the puzzle is available, but are you seeking it out? So be open because there could be a feeling of like, no, I want to figure this out by myself. But then there's a feeling of like, okay, one day I'll figure this out. One day I'll get started with this. So I really think that your angels are just wanting for you to be proactive and be your best advocate right now. Like really seek out the information you need. Be persistent. Ask questions. Don't feel like you're being um, an inconvenience to somebody by asking a question or for clarification or information or um, asking for help with something like you're not an inconvenience by asking questions uh, in fact i feel like there's somebody whose wisdom or knowledge could really help you along with this and also it, it was reminding you that you're really good at problem solving you're not giving yourself nearly enough credit um, for your ability to solve problems your ability to to handle things when they come up think about all of the times that you've done that before you can absolutely do that again. Um, there's a feeling in your cards of honesty, being truthful, being honest, being open would be real. And then the message here of, of because the four of the four of pentacles can sort of like hold back uh, with lots of different things, right? So if you're sort of holding back or if that's the thing that's keeping you stuck, the cards are saying like, open up. Um, things are starting to get moving too. Helper of thought, like this is, the, this is letting you know that things are going to get moving. Um, 
and to sort of prepare, like prepare because, you know, an opportunity could come up or, um, you know, something that you want to, something you really want to do, something you want to take part in, something you want to be involved in could pop up. So it's saying like, be ready, get yourself organized here. If there's something that's holding you back from um, pursuing something that you want to pursue or getting started with something like seek out the information, um, I'm getting the message to tell you, no one's coming to push you. No one's coming to push you or make you do that thing, make you apply for that job, make you redo your resume. No one's coming to do this for you. So it's really, really important that you, again, like get in that driver's seat because I'm getting you can have what it is that you want. You can have this thing. Uh, it's just a matter of getting yourself organized and getting possibly a piece of information that could be missing. Uh, yeah, and again, getting the message like be be honest with yourself, trust your intuition. I feel like you've been not trusting yourself recently. Uh, there could be a little bit of like self doubt going on here um, within yourself. Let's get yeah. Okay, so this makes sense that this just popped out. So the thing with the Eight of Swords is a lot of times what's keeping us feeling stuck or powerless is an illusion. And that's the case with the Eight of Swords. So you're feeling stuck. You're feeling like, okay, I can't move forward. Um, you know, I can't see the forest for the trees. I, I don't know what the next move is, but they're sort of like, you're not giving yourself enough. I, I keep getting, you're not giving yourself enough credit. And also what you notice with this card is what's keeping them stuck is really not like it's not it's not really there like this person can can get up and fly away their broom is right there um, i'm also noticing the bird there so that's coming through as like a message there's a message available to you or there's information or there's guidance um, on this quest on this journey that you're on that's available it's just a phone call away or an email away if you don't get the answer you're looking for with the first try Try again, like ask someone else. I was just talking to, to somebody about this recently. There was something I needed help with. The first, I think two tries, I didn't get the answer, but by the third, uh, you know, the third try I had the information that I needed and it did help me. So uh, that's, that's an important thing. So being open to wisdom uh, and commitment to your path, stay, commitment, stay committed to yourself too. I feel like this, this could be a matter of like, uh, you know, when, Kind of like, okay, I'm getting, so there's a lot of um, letting, so when this card mentioned imagined danger, so it's sort of like letting those things sort of stop you. What will they think? Um, what if I don't get accepted to this? What if I, you know, what if they don't uh, hire me for this job? What if they don't like me? Like all these what ifs sort of are keeping you kind of stuck in this, in this place. So yeah, I think, I think this could be sort of a, a case of, you know, those times when we're sort of our own worst enemy here. Um, and pay attention to also like what you're saying to yourself too. Okay. I love how this card said, how do I stop procrastinating? Cause that was the first feeling I got. I think I even said it. So key ideas, finding self-nourishment, leaving dreams unrealized, feeling depleted, time for a deep rest, lack of motivation, holding back. I think that's sort of what it is with uh, your cards in combination, helper of thought, your emperor card, your four of abundance, your full moon in Aquarius. There's sort of a feeling of like not stepping into, um, like holding back, like that feeling of holding back. Okay, I wanna read to you the little uh, legend that is um, for this card, because this is really interesting. At the end of her life, Flo reflects on the dream she shared with her husband, her late husband, to move to Florida. They never went. After Flo dies, her daughter discovers that her parents had enough money to move there. As she plans what to do with her inheritance, she wonders why her parents never lived their dream. Okay, this is a big one. So if you are in a position where you're sort of like, you've got the means or... Uh, the ability to do something that you really want, but you're waiting for, okay, maybe a better time or later in a year, in two years. I think the cards are saying like, get organized and, and get this going now, or at least investigate, at least investigate this dream and see if this is something you can at least get going now or get started. Um, your overall message, I think from your angels is don't delay, like don't delay these things that you want. Um, get started, take, take the wheel here. I'm getting to really take the wheel here. They're guiding you. Let's get some charms and see what else we can get here. 
I still haven't fully unpacked from being away, so my charms are still in this little bag. <laughs> from your angels oh lots of charms lots of charms okay so pay attention to music okay so if you have a certain song that you associate with a particular uh, person possibly that um you know has passed on pay attention to that i know there's a few for me um for sure because there's a connection to family and a song Okay, you've got the word believe and it's sort of tucked into this envelope with special delivery. So I think there's something coming along like a boost of some kind or something to remind you to believe in yourself or believe in this dream that you have. Uh, you've got Aries here as well as Cancer. What I love here is look underneath, you've got the angel wing. And what I love too, you've got the propeller and you've got the bicycle. It's sort of like telling you to sort of get things going. The propeller makes me think of movement, uh, momentum. You've got the key to success. So the key to success is sort of connected to the idea of like movement or pushing through. The bicycle can make me think of momentum. It can make me think of uh, pushing through challenges. So if something's recently sort of gotten difficult and you're and you're sort of like holding back now because a lot of times we hold back on our dreams because it's like the fear of failure so we'd rather just not try so i'm getting to not do that um i just felt something in my throat too so there's a connection to like your words like not being confident in what you have to say or what you have to share um this also could be connected to the past as well because there is a ghost here there's a little ghost here which can connect to fears in regards to the past so it's sort of like movement Okay, pushing past, something to do with the past, and you've got your angel wing underneath, so that's protection. So that's an interesting combination. Um, I love that you have a little pirate. This is my absolute favorite charm in my entire charm collection. This is always the one I think about um, because I've had this since I was little. I used to like make little, uh, you know, scenes or dioramas with like little fairies, and this, this was always in there. Uh, this makes me think of like... Uh, going after what you desire. I think of like treasure. I think of adventure. So I really think that there's a feeling here with even just the emperor card of like, okay, you're in control here. I keep getting like, no one's coming to push you or no one's coming to give you this treasure map. It's something that you've got to take for yourself here. Um, the turtle spirit, uh, this sometimes reminds us to not get discouraged by the time something is taking, like not being discouraged with the time something's going to take to get there. So a lot of times that's another thing that keeps us procrastinating. It's like, oh, well, it's going to take me two years, but the time's passing anyways. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so you might as well get started. Like the, the time is passing. So don't be discouraged with the time something's going to take. Okay. So this sometimes makes me think of like slow and steady wins the race. Okay. You've got an interesting little combination here. You've got the horse jumping over the hurdle next to the pink sunglasses, which are about optimism. So it's wanting you to, again, look, look more favorably on this working out as opposed to, oh, this might happen. This person might think this, this person said this four years ago, you know, all of these different things that might be holding you back. You've got a message of loyalty here, embracing the new, embracing the unfamiliar. You've got a lot about like, uh, adventure in general here. And the thread is sort of like, to me, it's, it's about creation right now. Like, what are you going to make? Like, you've got the tools necessary. What are you going to make here um, out, of, out of this opportunity? Let's get you some letters and numbers. Okay, group one. So one thing that, that happens sometimes when I'm looking at the charms is I'm sort of looking at them as a whole and sort of seeing what messages come through. But I did want to sort of talk about this one a little bit more in detail because this one really does connect with the idea of like, gaining more knowledge more information it makes me think of making lists making notes writing down ideas education learning uh, so i think that's really interesting you've gotten a lot about like somebody who has some guidance or something that can you know they can offer you um helper of thought like i just feel like there is like somebody who's able to sort of help guide you with something uh, or answer a question and then this one uh, also could actually be talking about that person uh, this this term makes me think of like spending time with one person in particular or uh, feeling a closeness with somebody so that could also just be an element of your reading uh, that could also could actually indicate that somebody wants to be more uh, a part of your life as well so yeah i just wanted to add that in okay so i just circled around the room like several times looking for the letters and numbers and it was right there it was literally right on the floor in the middle of my room so there could be a message there about like if there's something right under your nose, it's right there um, to pay attention to. Another thing I was thinking of while I was looking, 
um, was the, how I've done this exact reading to myself so many times. Like there's been so many times where I've just wanted somebody to come kick my ass. <laughs> like tell me what to do, um, pull me out of bed, make me do what I have to do. Um, but you know that, that it's, I mean, it's not, it's not really, I mean, you can hire someone to do that, I'm sure. Um, you know, but it's not, a lot of times we really have to sort of push ourselves and make ourselves do what we have to do and get the information that we need and all, all of those different things, sort of make ourselves get organized. So that could be a bit of a priority for you recently is getting organized, seeking out information, but yeah. Okay. Ooh, dropping letters. I'm also going to get a word dice out of here. I haven't put everything back where it belongs, so. Okay, two. All right, so you've got the words to, found, and want. Okay. You also have L, Y, and I. So you've got two E's, sorry, I'll get my arms out of the way in just a second. So you've got R, R, you've got three E's, another R, lots of R's and E's. You've got W, it could also be an M if you need it to be, T, V, A, N, another R, L, I, V, F, J, A, P, B, G, T, S. Let's maybe get a couple more. What's oh, charms? There's the word song again. You've got another R, A, T, A, H, P, and U. Get you some numbers. It might be fun to look up the angel number, 454 four, or 445. Four, so have fun, like look up those angel numbers. Um, also, if you know, if you happen to know about angel number 44, 45, um, any of these combinations, feel free to comment it below. But yeah, look for names, initials, sometimes there's phrases, so found, um, I'm seeing August, so it could be saying get started in August, if you're watching this in August. Um, No, that's not a U, it's a V, but autumn, <laughs> have fun with it, right? That's the, that's the important part. Okay. Let's see the word when I want, I don't have an O, I was going to say I want to win. <laughs> Say found an answer, found answer. Found the answer. I like that phrase, I found the answer. Like you found the answer, you found the solution. So let me know what you see. I really hope you enjoyed your angel message today. I hope that it resonated. I hope that it made sense for you. It's definitely advice that I needed to hear actually, group one, um, in regards to a few things. So I really hope that you enjoyed it and we'll see you in group two. If you chose the second angel, then this is your messages from your angels, your guides, what they want you to know, what they've been trying to tell you. Now, I feel like this could connect with uh, something that could be going on or something that could be on your mind right now, the day you click, or there could just be a general uh, message from them. So we'll see what comes up. I'll shuffle out all of your cards first, and then we'll dive in see what's going on. Oh, a little bit too many there. So group two, what message do you have for group two? Group two. I took this 
this deck because they, it's one of the only decks that I have that has an angel on it. Okay, group. Monology card. Group two. Group two. Okay, so you have take a reality check. Out with the old, in with the new. <laughs> Ten of thought. Seven of emotion. Hmm. You've got the high priestess, the page of wands. You've got instinct and discovery. Okay. So here's the thing. There's a bit of a theme today where I, I feel like the angels are just sort of wanting to sort of point out what you likely sort of already know or there's already there's already at least an awareness. And for you, whatever's going on in your life is not subtle, okay? I feel like you're going through massive, massive changes. I feel like a lot of different things are coming to an end for you. Uh, and there could be a little bit of resistance to uh, these changes that are taking place because, of course, you know, change, it's the comfort zone, right? <laughs> it's the comfort zone. And the thing with the changes that are happening for you right now is, like I said, they're not subtle. Um, they're not the kind of changes that are sort of like waiting for you to be ready or prepared. These are changes like you, you've you been, I feel like, propelled into change. Um, and a lot of the changes that I think has been happening for you has been sort of um, forcing you to sort of take what I'm getting as like a hard look at certain things, but take a reality check, you know? And the thing is though, this is definitely about like, something has come to an end and you're about, you're discovering new beginnings, okay? So I feel like <laughs> your angels today are sort of wanting you to be excited about what's to come. Like look forward to what's to come, even though you might not be able to see it yet. So I'll sort of dive into this and explain uh, what's going on here. So I feel like the change that has happened for you was likely something that you didn't, you didn't really anticipate, or maybe you didn't realize that it needed to change. Okay. So with take a reality check and the tower being here, this feels like something that sort of forced you to look at something or sort of, it, it gave you a bit of like, I'm getting like, oh, there was a wake up call. There was like a real like you were sort of shaken. There was this wake up call or this realization that happened recently. Um, and I'll get to what you have to be excited for because there's a lot here. But first we have to just sort of address these two first cards. So it says heaven is showing you a sign that it's time to move in a new direction. So these two together are really powerful to me because something in life has happened that has sort of either forced you to make a change or forced you to realize that something needs to change. Um, this is when life, again, pushes us into a change. We don't really feel prepared, but we're sort of, we don't really have a choice. Like we're being pushed into this, into this change or into this new, new world. Um, often it's because you're not happy or feel a lack of purpose in your life. This is a wake up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual, tr and spiritual truths. So with take a reality check, I love these two cards together. So you're sort of having these realizations about like what needs to change, what changes you need to make. And kind of like the thing is with the tower and the thing I always like to remind myself of is more often than not, the thing that has caused the tower to crumble is because there like there was a there was a crack in the foundation or something something wasn't right, like something it all sort of amounted to this change. Um, we can see this kind of change when we ignore something for too long or when we push something off for too long that's making us unhappy. Eventually, it's going to just change or something's going to happen that's going to be this huge wake-up call like these cards are describing. Now, you've got 10 of thought. I'll read this one to you. It says, a situation that's been troubling you has come to an end and you can breathe a sigh of relief. With the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. I'm getting, that's what we're going to get to because this is what I feel like your angel message is. It's important to fully let go at this juncture. Someone in your life may now finally be free of his or her addictions and codependency issues. So that could be happening for a few of you. Okay, some of, uh, some of you could have somebody in your life that has made some major change in regards to like codependency or addiction. That could definitely be going on. But more, more so what I'm getting from this is like, this has come to an end, like this change has happened 
And I think this reality check is just sort of acknowledging that yes, this has changed or something can't go back to exactly the way it was, but that doesn't mean that it can't be better or it can't be something new and exciting. And that's what I feel like your angel message is. And that's what I'm going to get to because you've got seven of cups here. Seven of cups is one of my favorite cards because to me, it's about options. It's about fantasizing about what do you want? What do you want from this ending, from this tower moment, from this You've got two cards of major endings here. So from this ending, what do you want? What do you want now? Because I feel like for some of you, it could be that you've moved. Some of you are moving. Some of you maybe um, left a job or something didn't work out with a job and you ended up having to, you know, find something new. Some of you, a relationship ended. But with Take a Reality Check, I feel like there is a layer to this where maybe something wasn't right. Like with Take a Reality Check, that's telling me that you're looking at things differently. And I'm also getting that you're really, there's something to be excited about. There's something, there's a new beginning coming from this, okay, with your Page of Wands, but I feel like you can't quite see it yet. There's still lots of unknowns in your situation. There's still a lot to maybe figure out. So the cards are asking for you to trust. And I love this image of the two people sort of leaving here. You know, they're looking back, sort of saying like, okay, this chapter is ending, but they're still, they're moving on. They're moving through this, through this, you know, door to whatever, whatever's out there, whatever this new thing is. So it says your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. Ask heaven for guidance and make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. So moving forward, your angels are asking for you to make the choice that works for you. Like really trust your intuition. And go with your, like, you've got a lot about intuition here and instinct. And this card, too, is, like, <laughs> is trusting your gut with a decision maybe you've even already made or something that happened. It's asking for you to trust your gut. Now, you've also got discovery. Maybe we'll read this one. But with Seven of Cups here, I just feel like there's a lot to, a lot to discover for you. It says... Are you trying to recapture a past that no longer fits? Okay, this is really interesting. So if you chose group two, like part of you could be sort of reminiscing or remembering this thing that came before here. or sort of thinking back to what was before this tower and, you know, wondering like, could I have done something differently? Or like kind of sometimes we can sort of go back and, and question like, question ourselves and our decisions. But this this happened for a reason. Like this change happened for a reason. Um, and I've said this before, but nostalgia can be a bit of a liar. Um, nostalgia can be great. It can be really nice to reminisce, but sometimes we can look back and maybe not remember things completely accurately or we remember things better than they were. Okay. Um, so yeah, are you trying to recapture a past that no longer fits? If you are presently upset or struggling with a difficult situation, you may be seeking to keep something that is far less than what you deserve. So was this tower for you settling for something that you didn't deserve? Meaning you deserved more than this. Like this wasn't the right fit for you. Like the cards keep saying like, whatever this is, 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 is meant to be in your past. Okay. This is what it says. This is a wake up call to make changes that match your heart's desires and spiritual truth. So whatever's happening now, like you're discovering sort of different options. You're discovering a lot of what could be or like what it what it, what is on its way for you it says am i happy in this situation how is it benefiting me the healing of predetermined agreed the healing of predetermined agreements must be addressed awareness is healing leaving the past behind a readiness for a new adventure a willingness to venture into uncharted territory a new level of self-care so this was for some of you an act of self-care this saying goodbye or this end um, if it was like leaving a job or a relationship or ending something, you know, it was, it was an act of self-care, like, like being open to what could be trusting yourself in this, in this process is an act of self-care. This reality check is an act of self-care. I like how it says a willingness to venture into uncharted territory, because there is sort of a feeling of having to trust the unknown and being a little bit, a little bit apprehensive about, about this this new chapter in your life because it's so unfamiliar. I feel like this was connected to a lot of comfort. I feel like this was a comfort zone thing for you and it was shaken, it was changed. Again, I feel like for most of you, it was something you didn't anticipate or you didn't choose necessarily. 
um, although it is suggesting that a few of you did choose to end something. But in either case, um, the, your angels seem to be wanting for you to embrace what's ahead, okay? So with the challenging times behind you, you can now move on. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing sirens outside too. Usually that's a message I get to like pay attention. Okay, let's look at instinct. Okay, if this is so cool how your cards are connected. Your instinct is finely tuned, so why doubt it? Your journey is guided. How can I master letting go and move on? How do I trust my inner guidance? So yeah, there is, even that person looking back in the image, there's sort of a feeling of like, okay, is this change meant to be? Was this change? Was this move? Was this breakup? Was this ending? You know, did I make the right choice? But I'm getting to like trust your instinct. Like something led to this. Something led to this change. Wow. Do I trust my own inner guidance? Solitary journey, spirit lies on the road ahead, led by spirit following your instinct. I like how it says awakening too. Oh, this is really interesting too. It says, wolf climbs the treacherous rocks. Wolf climbs the treacherous rocks. His eyes always fixed on the high ground. During the time he prepared to be a guardian, his master trained him never to turn back. So isn't that interesting? Because that person's turning back. When we look behind, we zap the energy we are to use in the future. So I love that theme of like looking behind right now. Because look, out with the old, in with the new. The person looking back to the past. This card talking about not looking back. So for you, I feel like your angels, it took me a few minutes to kind of put this together. But this is what this is. Take a reality check. Your angels have noticed that you're sort of second guessing yourself or looking back and thinking... Was it that bad? Could I have put up with that? Could I have stayed there longer? Could I have done something differently? The change that happened was meant to happen. Okay, so your angels really want you to look forward and trust your instinct in a situation. If something needed to change or if something happened that led to this change or, you know, trust that it happened for a reason because something wasn't, wasn't meant for you or it wasn't a good place for you. Okay, it wasn't a good place for you. So your angels are really asking for you to trust and be excited about something new that's coming in. I keep looking back at your Seven of Cups. In this card too, it says, it's likely you know what choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. So that could be something you're dealing with too, is, um, you know, avoiding doing what's right for you so that you don't upset somebody else. I think... The other thing I'm getting with all of these cards is you seem to be like very in tune with what do I need? Like trusting your own instinct, trusting your own intuition, like what what's best for me right now? I feel like you're sort of uh, more tuned into yourself right now. This is because this card talked about it being a solitary journey. And then this to the high priestess is a very personal, like spiritual sort of, you know, journey to it. So I feel like you're sort of drowning out Okay, what's going to keep this person happy? What's going to keep this person happy? And what what right now do you need? Like what what do you need to focus on? I feel like your angels are wanting you to be open to what's ahead. I feel like things I'm getting the message things are going to get exciting or there's a lot to discover. There's a lot that's going to um be available to you. There's a lot to learn that I'm getting. And you may be starting this, you know, new chapter as a beginner, something maybe completely new and unfamiliar to you, but it, the cards, your angels are saying to be excited. Okay? They're wanting for you to breathe a sigh of relief that this thing did come to an end or this thing is over or this change did happen. I think over the next little while, you're going to be having these like confirmations or um, moments of, yes, okay, I did make the right decision. Like this with the reality check message, it feels like you're sort of getting confirmation or just messages of like, yes, okay, that was the right decision for me. I followed my instinct. I trusted my gut with this. That was the right thing to do. Seeing if anything else comes up and then we'll get you some charms. I'm getting uh, a lot of messages today just in general about like trusting yourself more. Trusting yourself to make the right decision for yourself. I'm getting the message to tell you that trust that there are other options for you. There's more options than maybe what you're thinking. Like for a lot of you, this change could have been like, oh, you know, I'll never find a job quite like that. Well, you might not find one exactly like that, but you'll find something maybe that's a better fit for you. Maybe something 
you know, you can be more creative in or something where you get along better with, with the people that you work with. Like there's, it might not be exactly the same, but this is what the cards are saying is it is they want you to be excited and not turn back. Like for two cards to have sort of that feeling of not looking back, looking ahead, not second guessing yourself and wondering, should I have done this differently? Was it even that bad? Like trust your instinct. If this change happened, and especially if it was a change you made for yourself, trust yourself. Trust yourself more and trust that there's more available to you. Trust that there's going to be more to discover. It might not feel that way right now. Also, what could be going on is you could be dealing with some reality checks about different changes that you want to make. Different things you want to focus on, different things you want to discover, different things you want to prioritize. Some of you are feeling sort of a deep feeling that something isn't right. Trust that. Or look more into it. A lot of you are feeling like a strong push in a particular direction. So trust your instinct. So I'm really noticing this angel here sort of pushing this little person just in the direction. It just feels like without with the old, in with the new, take a reality check. It just feels like everything's sort of pointing you in this new direction or, or telling your intuition, your instinct, you're feeling this. Like you're feeling like this is the direction I need to go. This is what I need to discover. This is what I need to do. So I'm getting to trust that. Uh, don't second guess the. I keep getting this message. I'm sorry, it might be repetitive, but don't second guess the decisions you've already made. Uh, don't be hard on yourself for the decisions you've already made or what you didn't know um, before, right? Because we don't always know ahead of time. Of course, that would that'd be too easy. Of course, sometimes we look back and you know, I, I wish I had done it this way. I wish I knew it. I wish I knew that then. Like all these different things, but we can't do that. I feel like some of you have dealt with like a bit of like a learning experience or something was a learning experience. It sort of told you something about yourself, about maybe something you don't want to put up with anymore, something you don't ever want to experience again. A lot of you are learning to trust yourself more. Like something happened and, and you're thinking, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I should have trusted that, that inner voice. I should have trusted my gut instinct with that. And again, I'm really noticing the two messages of like not looking back, not looking back. So something could also be happening right now that's sort of forcing you to like look at the reality of a situation. Very interesting. Let's look at your charms and see what else is coming up here. Okay, so let's look at your charms. I still haven't unpacked fully from being away, so the charms are in this bag still. From your angels. All right. So some of you I'm seeing had to make a strategic move or a move to sort of protect your protect yourself or protect your energy. Um, a lot of you made a decision that is sort of, it's making you feel like you weren't loyal. Um, I noticed that too with your seven of cups because it said here, it's likely you know which choice you should make, but you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. So upsetting other people seems to be important to you in, in regards to like doing what's right for you. It's like, oh, what if this person doesn't like this? Or what if this person um, thinks this? Or what if they judge me for this? Or like all these different questions. Um, so that's just another thing to keep in mind. I'm getting to protect, I keep getting like this with your charms to protect your energy. Heads up, pay attention. Getting a lot of like, pay attention to something. Pay attention uh, to your instinct, to your gut instinct about something, your intuition about something. Here, let me just raise this up for you a little bit. Okay. Okay. The sea glass can represent like fogginess um, or, conf or confusion. Sometimes it makes me think of confusion. To me, this is like strategy. It has to do with strategy because it's very close to the chess piece. Like there's something strategic. Like your intuition, your emotions have been telling you something and there's a connection between, I'm getting here, um, the key to your success is to follow your heart because I'm just noticing how it's on this, like all of these hearts connected. So the key to success, follow your heart. And there's sort of like a feeling of like trusting the unknown here, an adventure some sort of like new chapter or something unfamiliar like exploration is definitely I think a lot of you are just like in a very unfamiliar place I think I saw that in your cards I'm seeing that here in your charms and that unfamiliarity is making you sort of question yourself it's like well but before it was so comfy it was routine I knew it but that doesn't mean that it was the right thing 
okay? So just because right now feels confusing and it feels sort of like unfamiliar, you feel like you're sort of discovering new places or discovering something new, doesn't mean it's not for you. A lot of you, I'm getting the message to like, the most important person to be loyal to is to yourself. Because I keep getting the message like a lot of you are compromising your own comfort and your own well-being for others, for what other people would prefer, what other people would would like you know so um i'm getting to like pay attention to what what do i need what right now so if we're, you're sort of returning to yourself is what i'm getting like your loyalty you're paying attention to where your loyalties are um i don't know what this is exactly but there's a wish in regards to family uh, so this could be just sort of an additional personal message but there's a connection to family um or a wish in regards to like it could be also an obstacle but i'm really feeling family You've also got message in a bottle. Um, it's next to the perfume bottle. And the perfume bottle is actually making me think of Seven of Cups. I'm thinking of like selection, choice, finding the right fit, finding what works for you, finding what you prefer, um, a personal choice. Um, I say that because perfume smells different on everyone. It depends on, you know, body chemistry and uh, everyone's individual body smells different in like so one person can wear one perfume and smell completely different than someone else um i know this because <laughs> i remember this girl i uh was a friend this girl was a friend of my brother's growing up and she wore she wore a perfume that i loved i just loved the way it smelled and uh they got it for me for my birthday did not smell the same on me you know so that's that's what i'm thinking so there's a message in regards to something that's going to be the right fit for you a message connected to something that's personal to you or perhaps a memory. Uh, the perfume bottle also makes me think of memory because scent is the the sense that's very tied to memory. So that that's what that makes me think of as well. Um, yeah, there's a lot here about like confusion in regards to like I feel like number one, you you take on a lot of responsibility for keeping other people happy. Okay, so the, the, your angel saying like you you can't you can't it's great for it's great to want people to be happy um but it's not your responsibility we're only responsible for ourselves so you're taking on a lot okay i'm i'm getting you have to be more strategic for yourself and it's not about being selfish like it's not being selfish taking care of yourself is not selfish okay so i feel like a few of you needed to hear that cuz this card mentioned it specifically so that you could be procrastinating so you don't upset someone else. But are you upsetting yourself in the process? You're being like guided and pushed. Your instinct, your intuition. You're getting these sort of like realizations or little reality checks, wake up calls possibly. You're feeling possibly fearful about the unknown and the unfamiliar but there's just a lot to discover there's a lot to be excited about okay i'm really getting that and then your two messages about not looking back because this person's looking back but this card just with this card specifically mentioned not looking back because you're zapping your energy towards the future i think is really important let's get you some letters and numbers oh my goodness okay well, that's what we'll take they fell out and that's what we'll, we'll take here let me just get this out of the way here okay so you've got the word as and saw you've got b t sweet you've got some more words here you've got will and kiss so let me just flip these over for you and then i'll get you some numbers as well look for names initials you've got b n x e i s e s l h q R A N E T R A I E E. I think I said A already. More easy here. <laughs> R L T A O W L N A N N. So let me know what you see. reality because you've got take a reality check but I don't see the because you've got this one here take a reality check but I don't see the why but I just like that with take a reality check real saw C 
see. You got saw and see, which is interesting because they're wanting you to look. Because you also got, you had the heads up term too. Take a reality check. Heads up, saw, see, see something. Take a reality check, see what is real. Interesting. I'll get you a few numbers. Got a five and a six. I'll get you one more. Two more. I've got a one and eleven. That fifty-one could be important to you. Any number combination. So let me know what you see. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I hope it helped you. Trust that any changes that have happened or any changes that are currently happening right now are really putting you in the right direction, um, in a better direction for you. Trust your instinct right now. Trust your intuition. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt yourself. Um, pay attention to who you're trying to keep happy um, and decisions that you're making to keep the peace or keep everyone else happy. This right now is about you. Uh, it's about discovering what's good for you, what's right for you. Uh, so pay attention to that. I really hope that you enjoyed your angel message. And uh, pay attention to those signs from your angels over the next few days, and next few weeks. Uh, and yeah, we will see you next All right, group three, if you chose the third angel, then this is your messages from your angels, your guides, what they want to say to you. Really excited to dive in. It's actually the next day from when I found groups one and two. I always like to mention that because sometimes my mood... Uh, my energy might be a little bit different from the other groups. So let's see what we have here uh, from your angels, what they want you to know. I was saying to, I think, one of the other groups that I've just been very drawn to angels recently. Like, I've been noticing them more, um, you know, seeing pictures of them. So I've just been, I've been very, like I've been noticing them a lot more. And I brought out the book for this deck today in case we want to read it. But we'll see what we have first. Group three, what is going on for group three? What do they need to know from their angels? What does group three need to know from their angels? One more deck here, and then we'll dive in and see what's going on here. So group three, what message do your angels have for you? Okay, so let's see what we have here. Make time for self-love, seeing clearly, be open to success, and guardian of abundance. letting yourself succeed wisdom and confusion the devil king of swords hmm. all right this feels like group three if you chose the third angel this feels like your relationship to success okay um <clears throat> Huh. 
this feels also like there could be a little bit of like self-sabotage going on here. And there's almost like a little bit of like, you're having a hard time listening to something. It's been a bit of a theme today, but there's a bit of a theme of like, sort of knowing what would be the best thing and like choosing, choosing not to do that. Like there's a little bit of that coming through today, just as like a theme. Um, but yeah, this, this feels like your relationship to success. Like it's related to your relationship to success. Hmm. Okay, let me just read this to you. It says, look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. And I, I really noticed that with this image here on confusion. Because it looks like the wind here, or, you know, this spirit is trying to communicate a message. Their arms are crossed. There's a bit of like stubbornness or like not paying attention going on. So it says, you balance so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with the gratitude you deserve. Then you also have guardian of abundance. Even the word guardian is, is popping up. Like there's, there's definitely like a feeling of like guardedness within your reading or like just sort of I can't pinpoint it it's there's something about you you like have a hard time with self-appreciation or acknowledging something about yourself or again there could be a little bit of like self-sabotage happening it says this is a time of great success for you all your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future. Make sure to accept them. Okay, so that could be what it is. Like, your angels could have brought you this message today to just say, like, there's an opportunity coming up for you. And the thing that could sort of get in the way is your view of whether or not you either deserve it or whether or not you should take it. Like, yeah, this is really interesting. Make sure to accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in this situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. I really feel like you chose this group because this is just sort of like, your group feels a little bit more like a reminder. Like your, your angels have been noticing that like you've been feeling confused lately or like there's been a lot of self-doubt. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like self-doubt. Um, and being sort of closed off to opportunities or being closed off to giving yourself a chance or giving something a chance. Um, I do think over the next coming days to weeks, you're going to have sort of realizations or epiphanies or be looking at something from a different perspective. Um, there has been a general theme today of not giving yourself enough credit. And I'm definitely noticing that with you. It says it's time to view things from a different perspective. You have a blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry. The pause and momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. So I'm noticing two things. A pause and momentum, um, I feel like it was to allow something else to happen. Like, I feel like things maybe came to a bit of a pause and this has you possibly confused. I'm noticing with the, even the bicycle there, like things are going to get moving again, but there's a little bit of self-sabotage going on here um, or stopping yourself from either taking an opportunity that's presented to you or um, even allowing yourself to try something, like allowing yourself to even try. It's sort of like, it's almost like you're shutting yourself down before you even get started. The other thing I'm noticing here is embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. So earlier I said, you're having a hard time with self-appreciation. So I actually wanna ask the cards a little bit of clarifying questions here. Um, so let me, let me just ask the tarot here. What has group three had a hard time acknowledging about themselves? Yeah, I love, I love this. What has group three had a hard time acknowledging about themselves? <laughs> what has group three had a hard time acknowledging about themselves? Okay, yes. <laughs> What's so interesting to me about you is that you are somebody that 
make sure like you can get what you want. Like this is, this is the thing you have so many gifts here that I'm seeing that would help you pursue this thing that you want or take these opportunities or be confident. So what has group three had a hard time acknowledging about themselves? Let's start with the Knight of Swords. This is somebody who pursues exactly what they want. And this is the kind of person that doesn't let anything get in their way. They're very persistent, uh, very confident, uh, very sure of themselves and their ideas and what it is that they want to do. Um, this is movement. So I think that's interesting too. Like what you haven't acknowledged about yourself is your ability to like, to get going, you know, to get going to, 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 I think just pursue something. Also queen of wands, like your creativity, your uniqueness, your, your uniqueness has been mentioned twice. Okay. So the queen of wands is very, very unique, very, like very much an individual, does things her own way, doesn't really care what people think. So there, this is in you. You're just having a hard time sort of recognizing it. Um, there could be sort of the desire to sort of, um, there, with here, there's a little bit of like approval, um, like wanting people to, to approve of what you're doing. So that could be a factor here, but embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. So there's something you're having a hard time, like allowing yourself to shine or allowing this quality or this gift to come out. You also have 10 of wands here. So what are you having a hard time recognizing about yourself? Your ability to persevere, your ability to push through when things are challenging, your ability to, this has come up a little bit today as a theme, ability to sort of problem solve and push through when things get difficult. Cause it's saying you're sort of on the verge of some sort of like great success or something going really well, something like, but you have to, you have to sort of have the confidence to take this opportunity. So it's within you. I'm seeing that it's within you. There's just some either self-doubt or confusion possibly getting in the way. So your message group three is different than the other groups because I feel like this is for you more so something that's coming in. Okay. Right now, possibly again, things have slowed down, but you're going to have this perspective shift or, or possibly understand why this pause had to occur, but it's saying like, get ready because there's going to be an opportunity that the cards are saying, like, you should, if you want this, if this is something that you want, give yourself the chance, give yourself the chance. doesn't mean that this exact opportunity is going to be the one, but it could lead you to something else. So give yourself a chance is what I'm getting. The other thing I'm noticing with you is just sort of like how this card said here. Um, this card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in this situation. So there could actually be somebody coming along to help you. Uh, and it says, this is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. So it's interesting. I actually feel like you're somebody who really enjoys when they're busy. I feel like you're somebody who likes a challenge. So maybe this, maybe recently this has been more so like boredom. Um, you haven't had anything to challenge you. Okay. So that could be contributing to this, to this feeling. I feel like you've likely or always been this way. In fact, I feel like in school, possibly if you, uh, you know, perhaps your teachers told, uh, you know, your parents, for example, um, you know, they don't pay attention. They don't pay attention in class. They're always talking. It wasn't so much that you, it just, it wasn't challenge. It wasn't interesting enough to you. It wasn't challenging enough for you. Like you seem to like to be challenged and you possibly are somebody who gets bored easily. So that could be sort of where this self-sabotage or this confusion is coming from. I did bring out the book, so I want to read read this. Every silver lining has a cloud. Interesting. Through the willingness to be in confusion, we find clarity. Oh, I love this. So if you're confused right now, recognize that that's, that's okay. And a lot of times if we embrace this confusion, we can come up with unique solutions or we can come up with different realizations. And you have a lot of this. Like seeing clearly, there's a feeling of like an epiphany coming in or a realization uh, or sort of like an aha moment. It's almost like things have gotten confusing on a purpose so that you can come to a different conclusion. It's sort of like a situation where maybe you were coming to the same conclusion over and over again. It wasn't working. It wasn't working. So now the universe has sort of put you in the situation that is so confusing that you weren't able to come to that usual conclusion. And the universe is sort of like, okay, let's like, what else is there? Like, it's trying to give you clues. 
So through the willingness to be in confusion, we find clarity. There is nothing to solve. Meditation and quiet time will bring clarity. So what I think could have happened for a few of you is some sort of success slowed down, the momentum slowed down, the speed slowed down. Perhaps it was a situation where something was really moving along quickly, the pace of something, you were challenged, you were enjoying it, you were receiving praise, you were receiving gratitude, you were receiving abundance, and then it slowed down almost to like a pause. And this has you really doubting yourself, it has you questioning yourself, it has you confused. It has you guarded, I think. It has you quite guarded. So the first card we got, I think, was the make time for self-love. So this is an important aspect for you. Like, what are you saying to yourself throughout this? Like, this is this is really important. Right here. So I ate some hazelnuts before <laughs> recording. So I keep feeling like I should have had a drink before recording. So um, can I see confusion as a good thing? Can I learn to let go of needing an immediate outcome? So here's another thing I noticed about you is you're somebody that likes things to just be moving, right? And that's okay. You like things to be moving. I'm seeing that even with the bike. Like it just seems like you you like when there's momentum. You like when there's speed. So this, with the hanged man card, it's like when things come to a pause, it's really uncomfortable. It's I'm acknowledging here that it's like really uncomfortable for you. Um, but... It's saying like, allow this because things are going to get moving again. So can I see confusion as a good thing? Can I learn to let go? Which is these two together is really interesting. Instead of needing an immediate outcome, allowing confusion, spiritual support, consequences of actions, finding love. Interesting. Keywords here are clarity, support, revelation. So I do feel like there's going to be a revelation at some point or possibly an idea that you're really excited to pursue something that's going to come along, something that's going to challenge you. I'm seeing you as extremely, you're very wise, okay? You've got a lot of knowledge. You've got a lot of, um, here's the other thing about you, I think, too, okay? And this isn't a bad thing, but I think sometimes you see, like you recognize that you're very talented or gifted or you're very knowledgeable is the better word about something. And I love how this card again acknowledges that you enjoy hard work. I'm seeing that with, I'm seeing that with these cards. You enjoy it. So when you see other people, you know, doing something that you know you're capable of doing or you know like you would be possibly even more skilled at, it's really frustrating for you. And I think that sort of like gets in your head, possibly like it adds to the confusion, adds to a little bit of self-sabotage. I'm also seeing you as somebody who is a little bit all or nothing. So I think some balance would definitely uh, be helpful for you okay with last quarter moon in libra all right um but yeah that's what i'm getting for you i want to look at your charms here okay group today i just wanted to pop on quickly just to mention uh, a couple things as i'm editing i noticed a few things and the number one thing was actually my energy so the day i filmed your group today I've got about a billion and one different things that I want to do today. So the idea of like efficiency and being on time and getting things moving was really important to me during during the reading. You know, I've just got so much I want to do today. But it was interesting because there's sort of an element of like being impatient with yourself. And as I've been editing and as I've sort of like had some time to sit with your cards, I've noticed a few different things. So I feel like that's sort of um, a little bit of what your message is trying to say is I think you might be being very impatient with yourself, um, you know, throughout this confusion. I mean, this card talked about sitting with confusion, being okay with it, but there's a feeling of like wanting things to move along. And I noticed here, you know, these geese sort of like got, are they, are they geese? I think so, but they, they've like some sort of obstacle is being cleared for you. So things will, you know, get moving again, but there is a need to sort of just like pause with the hanged man card slow down pause look at something a little differently that might help clear up some confusion and not be so in a rush because i will say the king of swords and just the energy i've been getting from you i feel like you like when things are moving you like the challenge uh, i feel like you you might be a little bit competitive we get into that a little bit during the charms but there's a bit of competition element to this and uh, someone just knocked on the door Okay, as I was recording that, somebody knocked on the door with the package, so that could also be a message that there's something arriving, um, which is a feeling I'm getting. But yeah, I just feel like, you know, you might be having a hard time with the idea of slowing down, okay? And I feel like you've wanted things to go a particular way, 
And this confusion has been extra frustrating for you, like not knowing what's coming next, not knowing, or not, not even being, maybe it's about not being in control, like not being in control of the outcome of something. But again, I keep feeling like momentum, something is speeding up for you uh, very soon. Both of these cards talk about success. So yeah, I just feel like you're sort of doing a lot of reflecting um, about what success means to you. Uh, competition comes up a little bit later, we get into it. But yeah, I just wanted to clarify a few things because there's a few things I noticed you know, while sitting with these cards, while editing, um, that I just wanted to, you know, to bring up and clarify. Another thing really quickly is I feel like for some of you, this pause has been to address something that has become uh, unbalanced or possibly a habit or something like that. A few of you are really taking charge or addressing something and something else had to be put on pause because of this, thus causing the confusion. So um, if you have had to do that, if you've had to sort of take this pause um, or this time out to address something that's become a habit or something you needed to deal with, uh, then that's okay, right? So this this is important too, so I wanted to mention that as well. So many different things are popping up after I slowed down, after I gave myself a second to really absorb and, and slow down and take a closer look, I've been getting more messages. So I just think that really kind of reiterates the point of your reading because I was so like obsessed with being efficient today and getting everything done that I missed a few things. So I think that's really important with your message. Okay, group three. So we're going to look at your charm here. I haven't unpacked, I was away. So I had everything packed up and I still haven't fully unpacked yet, so. getting for you with your angel holding the butterfly um there's something about like embracing change uh which is so interesting because again i see you as somebody who's actually really good under pressure it's almost as if you prefer to be under pressure it's, it's almost like you prefer to have deadlines and work to do and things on your plate so because it's sort of come to a bit of a pause for some of you it's like okay well, like what's wrong with me what aren't i doing you know I must not be capable, like all of these different things that you're saying to yourself. Um, Angel of strength, give me the strength to face the day and see the many blessings that it contains. So I feel like that's an additional message for you um, to see some sort of blessing, okay, that the day contains or some sort of gift. Because I do sort of feel like that devil card just to me feels like something like that all or nothing, self-sabotage uh, sort of attitude that we can get so yeah that's what's coming through there so angel of strength i love that okay let's look here and then we'll get your letters and numbers at the end i've got the word from i'll just put that there and i'll put the six here you've got another six as well okay let's see here let me raise this up for you First thing I'm drawn to group three is the door here, okay? And you also have two dogs here, which is interesting because that can be about loyalty and friendship. Uh, so that could be an aspect of what's going on here. You've got heads up. I'm getting sort of something like you and your loved ones here are protected. Like there's, a, there's an idea of like, because you've got the angel wing with the two dogs. Interesting. The two dogs are really interesting. I might want to pull a clarifier for that because like who? Because I always think of friendship and loyalty. So you've got both of them. I'm wondering because it's next to the door I'm just getting like there's something that's like guided like you're being guided to something that you love because of the hearts it's saying pay attention it's got the heads up ace of wands and king of cups just fell out yeah this seems to be in regards to something like like I just said like you're being guided towards an opportunity of something that you love you're being guided even the dogs are making me think like they're they're trying to guide you they're trying to show you to guide you towards something that you love I'm getting pay attention heads up even the telescope is making me think of like pay attention look ahead ace of wands passion some sort of new beginning something you hadn't thought of a new idea a spark of creativity of, of inspiration something new and interesting for you possibly something or earlier i was saying like 
you're bored of something like or something's been boring so i feel like something there's an opportunity you're being led in a particular direction for something like new and, and inspiring like definitely new something creative possibly and linked to travel there's definitely a travel uh this bead i got so the place i was a couple weeks ago um while i was away this is where i got this bead but i got it like four years ago at that same place so it makes me think of travel creativity relaxation leisure enjoying something uh, it's got, that one little charm has a lot of meaning to me um the leaf it, it, to me there's something here about like letting go what did that one card say seeing clearly you have a blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry. The positive momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness. Allow it to serve you. But yeah, this is definitely, I mean, the, the hangman card is definitely has that sort of feeling of like letting go. There's something you need to let go of that's sort of been keeping you stuck or guarded or confused. Like the way something should have gone or it should have gone this way or I could have done that better or something like that. Like it's saying like there's something else for you. There's something else. Be open to it, though. Like, you've almost kind of closed yourself off before something even began. Because you're like, no, I don't want that to happen again, so I'm not even trying that. So there's definitely a feeling of, like, letting go here or release. Um, I do think there's a feeling of, like, you needing, you needing a, a change in scenery, okay? You need a change in scenery. You need, because this charm always makes me think of, like, travel or just, like, a really scenic place to sort of just unplug uh, change in scenery, a new sort of view of something, sort of like not necessarily just rest, uh, but just I feel like because there are elements of travel, like that could help you come up with something like a new conclusion or a new idea. I'm getting a lot for you, group three. I, I really like how that one card said, like, allow yourself to be confused. Like, it's okay. I think sometimes when we're confused, it's like we're in sort of like this, we have this urgent feeling of like, I need to solve this. I need to figure it out. Especially if we've been confused for a while. But sometimes that confusion is sort of what kind of points us in new directions and helps us come to different conclusions. And I feel like that's what's happening with you. There will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but don't be shy. That could also be something you're dealing with as a bit of shyness. You've got a lot about balance. You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. Like you've, I think balance would definitely be a key here because you do have a lot of cards um, that can talk about balance. So for example, 10 of wands, you've got the devil card, you've got your Libra card. This card mentions balance specifically. So balance is definitely uh, probably one of your keywords here. Okay, let's get... Because the devil card comes up when things are completely out of balance, right? There's, there's, it's an extreme card. It's sort of like, it can be, I notice it a lot when people's readings like all or nothing thinking. Okay, so it's either this way or this way, no in between. Um, it can come up, like I said, when we're self-sabotaging. Um, you know, so. And if you're sort of getting like, You've allowed something to feed into an insecurity. Or something made you insecure that like really it didn't need to because it wasn't a reflection on your talent. Like the cards keep saying, like you're talented, you're gifted. Okay, you've got held, not, kiss, and and, and the word found. Okay, so let's just flip these over. I'll get you some numbers as well. So look for names, initials, have fun with the letters. Sometimes they spell things, sometimes they don't. Okay, let me just line these up upright for you so you can see. If you want to pause, feel free, and then I'll see what I can see. This time I've been noticing a little bit more um, words, but it just depends. It depends how much time I give myself. Okay, I'm noticing the word win. Where was that N? You can probably see it. I can't see it. Oh, there it is. So I'm noticing the word win, winner. You've got that word winner a lot. Um, you've come out a winner, winner. From, so kiss not held from found and winner. Winner. 
there could have been something like you didn't win and it has completely like because like you have the word winner and loser this could be what it is like there could have been a situation where you didn't come out of a winner in something like it could have been a job offer or something that you had like a competition or something and that has completely just like affected your confidence but what i remember when i was asking the cards like what about you aren't you noticing right now like what are you having a hard time recognizing that you are a winner despite like we can't always be a winner it reminds me of one card let me just show you um the five of wands in this deck i love the five of wands because it just sort of talks about exactly that how it's like sometimes we don't win and it doesn't mean we're not good at it. Like we're not, it doesn't mean we're not talented or gifted at this particular thing. There it is, okay. So this card I think is a really good example of like what I'm getting here because you see everyone's experience on this card. This person's pumped, they're, they've won, they're, they're, they're the winner. And then, you know, these other competitors, not so much. They're frustrated, this one looks angry, this one just looks completely like, devastated this one looks kind of maybe just annoyed this one seems kind of shocked so you know but it doesn't mean that they're not skilled at what they're doing you know what I'm trying to say like I think you understand what I'm getting at here like I think you've been really hard on yourself about something that maybe just didn't work out for you the timing or and it's like it's saying like don't let this affect your confidence because you are like you've got great ideas to share there's something that you want, like allow yourself to pursue it. Just like that one card said, be open to success. I feel like you've sort of closed yourself off a little bit to success sort of as like a, a protection or like the guardian word we saw. It's sort of like guarded. It's like, okay, well, I'm not even going to join this next competition and then I can't lose. Okay. And no one's noticing this too. I went, oh, you've got 11-11. It's 11-11. Four, two, you've got two sixes. That's the other thing too, is like a lot of times we think like there's like this spotlight. Actually, what's really funny about that is this card sort of fell out when I was showing you that card. So a lot of times we feel like there's sort of like everyone else sort of noticing there's like that spotlight effect when we don't succeed at something or if we're not succeeding or if we've taken a pause or something is not going the way we want it. It's like, well, everyone must think this. No one's noticing. No one I assure you, no one even remembers, you know, that this even happened. Like, we're so much more aware of our own failures, or our own losses. No, no one's, like everyone, like, we're all really focused on ourselves, really. <laughs> you know, so that's one thing to, to remember. Because I think you've sort of, you might be having this sort of spotlight effect of like, okay, well, what are they thinking? Well, they're probably not. They're probably thinking about their own things. You know what I mean? So just keep that in mind. Um, but let me know what you see here uh, in the letters, in the words. Uh, feel free to check out the comments. I hope you enjoyed this group three. I feel like your angels, if you chose this group, are just trying to give you that confidence boost to try something again or pursue something that you want to pursue. And also to let you know that things are going to change. Momentum is going to pick up. Be open to success. Allow yourself to try. It's not always going to work out, but just allow yourself to get in there and try. I don't let these things affect your confidence. You have unique gifts. Just two cards mentioned. You've got unique talents and gifts. You're wise. You're smart. I think you get easily bored. You like to be challenged. And I think you're somebody who compares yourself to other people a lot. So your angels are just letting you know um, all of those things. So let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this and we will see you next time.